So now uh, we can uh, start this meeting. Uh, I think the plan is for it to last 40 minutes at most. Okay, I know everybody's busy. I, I, um, we, I understand we all understand English. I mean, I could speak, um, like I said, Portoñol, a little bit of Portuguese, but uh, <laughs> I am going to ask Liki, who is the central piece of this meeting, to basically run the meeting because it is really her meeting. She is the one that did oh the work for the last four months. So Liki, please go ahead and introduce or do whatever you think is, is necessary to conduct a meeting. Oh boy, I thought it was going to be Jana. I'm kind of lost. Jana is used to that. <laughs> well, um, first of all, I'd like to thank the opportunity of uh, uh, spending all this time in a partnership with San Diego State University, but nothing would have worked if I didn't have the support from Jana, from you, of course, Professor Victor, and also the infrastructure we had there to do all of our um, acquisitions and uh, productions, right? But this meeting is very important. I, I want you later, please, to explain a little bit about your work to others because not all of them are aware of the importance of visual lab and how it is ahead of the time uh, especially talking about what we are facing nowadays due to you know this e-learning activities and how much ahead of time you were when you started the project right and when i started there i didn't know that it was going to be like that this year and we see now how important this kind of tools, this kind of uh, productions you've been uh, producing throughout these years, how important they are. You know, in this moment we can see me, we are, you, I, you are I, so much ahead of time. <laughs> let me interrupt you. We, our system is fast. It's <laughs> really fast. And you and I working together with Jana, we're able to do in four months, including COVID, right? We, you started in uh, January 15, and including COVID and all the problems that you had and we all had just finished. So that's what, uh, five and a half months, take a couple of, take away two months of COVID, that puts you to three and a half months to do all this work is amazing. But I'm not surprised. We have done it all the time. Other mm -hmm. people are surprised. Go ahead. So I'd like to introduce my guests because you do not know all of them. And I think uh, everybody here is very important to me. They've been part of my journey, my academic journey throughout the years. So well, I'm going to start with what I see here on the framework, but it's not according to the importance because everybody there is important to me, right? Uh, so first, Professor Zulfo. Uh, he was my supervisor at Unicamp, and uh, he's been very important to me because, you know, he helped me achieve my knowledge throughout the years, and without his help, I would not have been what I am now, you know? It's all thanks to him, because he was the one stimulating me all the time. He is attending the meeting? He yes, is. He is here. Where is he? Yeah. I don't see. Oh. oh. Just, uh, just shift, shift. Click in gallery view so you will see everybody at the same time. What do I do, Jana? Click in gallery view on the top right. Other review? Gallery. Oh, gallery view. Mm -hmm. Where? Here? I'm, I'm lost here. I'm just learning how to do this. Mm. Gallery view. Where gallery view on the top? Just on top right. Just click the click this. The arrow. <laughs> now I'm lost. This uh, blue blue circle. The blue arrow. Okay, the blue arrow. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I can. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. <laughs> Allow me to be a little bit, 
we're all learning to do this and I, I'm going to confess to you that I didn't have to learn it because I didn't teach this semester. <laughs> so, you know, you leave things for last minute and that's what we're doing. We're going to be on top but of the so system in about a month. It's okay, so go ahead now. Okay, now I can see everybody. Uh, so, Professor Zuko, can you raise your hand, please? Yes, here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Professor Zuko. Zuko. Zuko, Zuko. Yes, okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. <laughs> and I'm Victor Pons. Victor Pons. And look at the coincidence, Professor Pons, because he was supervised by Professor Chandri. And this is how I met him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Professor Chaudhary, a great friend of ours. Yes, yeah. Isn't that amazing? Life is very yes. funny sometimes. Yes, <laughs> He yes. plays jokes on us. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, go ahead. And then I'm going to introduce you Professor Demetrius Christofidis. He's a, a former professor at the University of Brasilia. He's been living there. Uh, I think for all your life, right, sir? I, I think since you came to Brazil, right? Probably. And uh, he is now a member of the Ministry of um, uh, Ministry of Development, and he's working for the Secret Secretariat of uh, Water Security, right? I'm going to assume. Excuse me, interrupting you. I'm going to assume that Professor Demetrius is originally from Greece. That's right. <laughs> right. And the prof Professor Demetrius, look how much coincidence we have here because Professor Victor Pons is married to a Greek woman. That is <laughs> right. Well, half Greek. <laughs> well, we have a, Greeks we have are always Greek. Pot here in the United States. My wife is uh, half Greek, actually. We, we have a very strong root. So Greeks always consider themselves Greeks, even if they're third or fourth generation. I see, okay, okay. And we also, for all information of you, we also have Dr. Fazal, who is originally, I'm going to say, from Pakistan. Uh, yeah, yes. Correct, correct, yeah, okay. Keep going, uh, Liki. And then uh, introducing you, Professor Gilberto Dafra. He's also from Unicampi. You know him already, sir. Oh, I because know you... Gilberto. I know yeah. Gilberto very well, very well. From uh, yeah, uh, we, Buenos we, Aires. Yeah, we met him in Buenos Aires. We met him as well. Tudo bem? Tudo bem. E o professor, como vai? Oh, é ótimo. Ah, que maravilha. Oi, oi. Very good accent. <laughs> Muy bien. Es un placer estar aquí, profesor. Es un placer estar aquí. Ok, bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. La primera vez que nos conocimos, la primera vez que tuvimos una conversación, estaba ahí hablando con el profesor Gilberto Dalfre, cuando tú y Jana estaban cerca de nosotros en la conferencia. Así que él fue el link. Sí. Él fue el link. Sí, porque Gilberto y yo our common friends of our very good friend who uh, recently went to heaven, um, Nutinho. Yeah, he recently went to heaven. He passed away, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately, he passed away some months ago. Uh, and actually, we, um, a colleague of uh, Professor Zufo and I, uh, he is uh, the president of this uh, national meeting of sediments and the professor uh, Milton was supposed to be there and give a lecture and meanwhile he passed away and well. And the meeting was already taken place or not yet? No, it, it, it was supposed to be held in November, but, uh, but I think it will be postponed to uh, May uh, 2021 due to, due to the COVID. Um, but, but it's something that we are um, uh, discussing yet, uh, because there is this possibility of doing the, this event uh, online now, uh, although we prefer that 
uh, that be uh, like uh, in in person, right? Yes, please uh, keep me posted because I promised uh, Nutinho. I call him mm -hmm. Nutinho, you know, Caro Nutinho, uh, mm -hmm. that that I was gonna go to the meeting in the next meeting, the next Brasilia meeting on sediment. Oh, However, really? it didn't happen because of COVID, and Nutinho will no, no longer be there. But I'm interested in going anyway, which way, whichever way, either presence or virtual, because mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know my heart, my heart is in many places. But one of the places that my heart is, is in Brazil. Oh, I have to admit great. that. We have <laughs> done very fundamental work yeah. uh, many yeah. years ago, 40 years ago. Uh, and we're still talking about it. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, it will be a pleasure if you could come to Brazil and visit us at Unicamp, Professor Zufu, I, uh, me, and uh, Professor uh, in Vasiliki as well. Uh, so uh, it will be a real pleasure if you could join us in the in this meeting. I will let you know all the details. Okay, cool, good, very good, Gilberto. Muy bien, muito bem, muito bem. Liki. Okay, my other guest is Professor uh, Dr. Americo. He works with me at the Federal Institute of Science and, and Technology of São Paulo. And um, I invited him because he was also a key for me, for all my achievements, because when I started working at uh, the IFSP, I was not a doctor yet, and he was already a doctor, so he has always motivated me to continue studying throughout all the difficulties, you know, that I've had in my life. So he was was always there supporting me and motivating me to continue my research still nowadays and my studies and also he's a great partner of my uh, developing research with our students um, we face lots of difficulties due to the lack of resources but we are still there we are trying we are fighters <laughs> and okay. say hi okay Hello. Hey, America. So that professor. Yeah. Thank you, Liki. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you, Professor Pons. Nice to meet you all. And I would like to thank you, Dr. Pons, for receiving our professors, first Dr. Salameni and now Dr. Bomit Liki. Uh, we believe every time in her work and uh, Thank you for supporting her in this outstanding work. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, Liki. Um, Liki? Yes, You're I'm there, here. Right? Uh, yeah. May I introduce my guest? But no, no. Before, Not yet. I okay. have to talk about Professor Chantry. Okay. Because okay. Uh, this past week, you had just talked about him. You have talked to me about him twice the past week. I don't know if you remember that, but you have said his names twice last week. Oh, really? So suddenly I, I was taking a look at a post that, at a very beautiful post that Professor Zufo published in his network. And then I saw Professor Chandri there making <laughs> comments about it. <laughs> That day you had just talked about him, that you met him the first time in 1993 in San Carlos, if I remember. And then I said, oh, that's amazing. It cannot be a coincidence. <laughs> it's a sign that we have to put these two together again. So this was a good opportunity for that. <laughs> okay, yeah. It's really nice. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh... Um, okay, so I would, at this point, I would like to introduce my guest, Jorge Prieto, Professor Jorge Prieto at the University of Santiago del Estero, right, Jorge? Yes, now I'm in Cordoba. Oh, in Cordoba, I'm sorry. <laughs> I knew that I was going to miss that one. Uh, Universidad de Cordoba. Uh, Jorge, oh, no, I, I'm, I, I can return to Santiago del Estero. 
Oh, or you're in Cordoba, me. but I will return to Santiago Estero, so I didn't make a mistake. Okay, I want to mention to all of you that Professor Prieto and I have something in, have something in common. We are friends of a gentleman of great stature who already uh, went to heaven. He is in heaven. And his name is Vic Marcus. <laughs> he is American who developed the uh, run of curve number in the 40s and 50s. And then he retired, everybody has to retire. And then he was retired for, I would say, I would say 20 years. You know, usually that's a retirement time. All of us have to go through that. And then eventually he passed away. Uh, and uh, like I said, um, uh, Jorge and I met because of Marcus. And the story he can tell. Go ahead, Jorge. No, 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 to <laughs> in, <laughs> no, I, I prefer uh, <laughs> that you, you tell, but you are the pro protagonist. Oh, okay, he, he is a little bit, uh, should I say, timid, though, okay? But uh, basically, um, uh, we met over at um, Argentina, right? Yes. Physically, like a couple of years ago, when I was over there, and uh, Jorge, of course, I didn't know he existed, but he saw my name tag because everybody out there at the meeting is looking at everybody's name tag to find out if he can make they make some friends and so forth. And he saw my name tag, and uh, he really said, "Oh, Professor Pons, you're the one that wrote the interview with Big Marcus." I said, yes. <laughs> so he knew Marcus. He didn't know me, but he knew that I had written the, uh, the interview, that I had done the interview with Vic Marcus. Vic Ma uh, I consider myself, I wrote a lot of things in my career, and I hasn't finished yet. But my interview with Vic Marcus was the one that was, uh, how can I say, defining, separating. Because you can do a lot of, write a lot of papers. But to do an interview with Big Marcus, I'm sorry I have to say this, uh, promoting myself, but nobody had done it and nobody did it. I was the only one that, I don't know, had the luck. I always attribute to half of my work the luck. I had the luck that I interviewed Big Marcus before he passed away, about four or five years before he passed away, and was able to get from him, like they say, um, the La Boca del Lobo. <laughs> I was able to get the truth. And I not only did get the truths, but I also got the truths of his heart because he wanted to talk and he could talk off the record with me because he knew he was going to go away. And, you know, so he, he deviated a little bit and he talked off the record with me. And I just wrote everything up like a set of notes and published it at the time published it on the web. Well, I had it for a while. And then I published it on the web when I could. And then I, we just published it everywhere until, until of course, SCS got word of it. And it helps to have friends. I had a friend at SCS, Insight. So he himself undertook to promote our interview. So our interview now, he or she who has not seen in the interview, well, I don't know where they are because the interview is very popular and it is everywhere. So thank you. That's all I'm going to say about uh, Jorge Prieto and our common friend, Vic Marcus. Now, Liki, please re retake because, because we ran out of time here. Well, so we are today launching the book online that Professor Pons wrote a long time ago, but you know, it's a very important book that has been used uh, throughout the U.S. and all around the world. It's the fundamentals of hydraulic in channels, right, in open channels. And in Portuguese, it's going, it is called Fundamentos de Hidráulica de Canais. Uh, this book is going, is actually already uh, on the website, I'm going to send you an email with all the information about accessing it. 
and uh, this book is open access so everybody can access it without any charges and the book has the advantage of being uh, able to be reviewed all the time it's a dynamic process because it's not only like a PD, it's not a pdf file it is at the html uh, uh, web so it means that we can change any kinds of information that are included in the book anytime it's a very dynamic process so the book never gets old we can update it all the time and um i think jenna is going to share yes thank you jenna okay, okay. she's going to show you how the book is presented so this is how the book is it's divided in 11 chapters plus the appendix and the summary videos that compound that compose the also the chapters some of the videos uh were translated to portuguese or by me or by jana and uh, students will be able to access this video showing experiments in lab so that's why i said that uh it's funny because nowadays we are facing this kind of remote learning process and even if you are not in the lab students can get an experiment done online and at least learn a little bit about it and uh, all the information is there for free this is something very good the good thing about the project is that we could do the translation jana started and i finished we have to say that because she did the raw process of putting uh, also samara helped at the time and then i refined the translation so this was all done in this uh, first semester i started it there and i was going to have it finished but i had to come back to brazil because the border uh, was going to be closed so there was only uh, one month to come back not even one month I think like three or two or three weeks to come back to Brazil in this book there are also a lot of calculators so students can access different calculators to produce different kind of output data and uh, it's and in you all should add that the calculators have been translated to Portuguese so even that's a very good thing because even if students have no access to a different language they will be able to do it all in portuguese and yes uh, we let me add that um we started doing calculators uh, many years ago but in the last uh 10 years we began to translate our english calculators into spanish and then it very closely followed portuguese so right now we have we have about 350 calculators out of which out of which 100 are in Portuguese and about 100 in Spanish and the rest in English because English is the originating language. And let me also say with Jana that to translate a calculator is a very simple matter. To do it is difficult, but to translate is simple matter. I know all of you are smart enough to realize what I'm saying. I can spend 20 hours doing a calculator but to translate it it will take an hour or an hour or two hours depending on how big the calculator is and you guys know that two hours is not a whole lot of time at any rate so that's how we we have done all these calculators and uh, they're being used by many people um, uh, that's basically it I want to add to what uh, Leakey said that we have a very dynamic system that was developed entirely in our lab. We haven't paid anybody a penny in terms of royalties or anything. You know, there's a lot of package software nowadays that we have to pay for. I don't want to mention names, but there's a lot of package software nowadays. And that package software, if you allow me to do a little bit of philosophy here, it gives you and it takes away from you. As Machiavelli said, one you win you lose it gives you a facility <laughs> it gives you a facility and ease and it also takes away the liberty 
Yeah. We decided that we were gonna go our own way, however long it took. And because I am lucky, uh, we are able to do it. And uh, we have all the liberty that we can have. And we don't, uh, and the only uh, negative thing that we have is that the system is a little bit odd, odd to most people because it's not a PDF. It's not a PPT. Yesterday, I, I, I had a meeting in, in Peru, in Lima, and the kids asked me for my PPT, and I said, I don't work with PPT. I work with PP. And boy, they re that really threw them off. They never heard of PP. I know some <laughs> of you guys have. Go ahead. Okay, PP means power pounds. <laughs> <laughs> we have a system that we call power pounds. <laughs> but as you can see, uh, one out of a thousand people, uh, actually more, and our system is extremely powerful, and I know that Liki agrees with me. Mm -hmm. And extremely something powerful. that is very important about this book, considering the situation we have in Brazil and in many countries in the world, translating it to Portuguese gave the opportunity of having such a good, good quality book to all kinds of students so we are not offering this kind of book only to people who can buy it but we have lots of students that want to have the opportunity to access free good literature and that's what it is so everybody will be able to use it and all our guests here uh, know and defend the idea of including uh, all students in the process, not only the ones that could pay for that. So this is the idea also. And not only, uh, let me interrupt in there because it's important. Mm -hmm. Our book is linked to the original sources, which have we have managed to put on the web. So it's expandable in terms of the original sources. Meaning if you have like a, like a paper by Hayami, for instance, uh, uh, that's the paper by uh, Kraya, which is an original source on the meaning of kinematic waves. We scanned all the paper and put it in there. So the book is a resource in a library itself, which I, I think most of you would agree with me, unless I'm wrong, there are not that many books that have that capability. Go ahead, <laughs> Liki, Liki. And uh, I think that it would be great if when you have the time you start looking at our page the page of the book and also start evaluating it because in case there is any kind of mistake a translation mistake uh something that we haven't seen it can be re reviewed all the time so we would be very thankful if you had any kinds of suggestions or you know, opinions about it. Something also important about the book is that it's very um, didactic because you can see that there are exercises, suggested exercises in the end of each chapter. So every professor that uses it in the institution will be able to have all these questions and problems suggested, suggested for students. Uh, we know how much time we spend preparing exercises, so at least we already have these exercises pre-prepared. Um, something also that uh, I was going to tell you is that this was entirely vol volunteer, that we had no funds for this specific project, so it was like uh, all volunteer. And we have a new project that will be started which is about the hydrology book. Uh, the hydrology book is still in English and uh, it will be started now. We'll be starting now I'm back to work so I cannot do it full time and it's not gonna be as fast as the other one because of course I had the whole day to work on the project but now I'll have to share my activities with the project, collaboration with Unicamp and everything so we hope that uh, the most in two years, the book will be also available online, which is also going to be good to include many more other students 
uh, and engineers and academics into our network. So that, that's what I have to tell you. And um, I know that Professor Demetrius um, also is a good uh, um, bridge for us because he knows many people all around Brazil. And uh, besides being an amazing professional, technically speaking, uh, I can say that his spir spirituality is amazing. And he defends the idea that everybody should access this kind of literature. Uh, he defends the human rights and all, you know, the natural aspects of, you know, hydrology and hydraulics. So it would be great if you could help us spread the information about this book all around Brazil so that many more people could have access to this kind of literature, high level literature. Sorry for saying high level, it's okay. not mine, it's Professor Pons, can I but I know it is. <laughs> can I interrupt you for a minute before because I, I have a feeling that I'll forget it and this is very important. I'm okay. going to ask Jana to go to link 97205. Jana, can you produce for the for the for our viewers 97? 97. Go to personal, not a legacy tales. 97. There, there. Now go to legacy tales, right? What happened? It doesn't want to go for some reason. Share the screen or something. Okay, now you're fine. No, back, back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back once. You got to go back on the arrow now. Jana, okay, there. Now you go to the one that says Legacy Tales 2015 to present on top, the link on top there. No, what happened? You're you got to be careful with the with the with the mouse. Okay, there you go. Now you go to 97205. 97205. What is the difference? What is and 205? I I am not 97205. What no, you you're moving the the too fast. No, no, that's not correct. Uh, I, I don't know what's going on, but let, we're, let, let's persist here because this is going to be almost the closure. Uh, go back now again, Jenna. Are you hearing? Okay. What, what are you seeing right now? I'm seeing, right now I'm seeing the, the, the face. The, right, right. Now got it. Jenna got it. Now I'm hoping that all of you are reading with me this page. Is it correct? Correct. Okay. So I am going to point out eight advantages of this system that we have it is not wow. just our book with professor bolomitis it's all our books we have about six books okay our book is up to date meaning we just did it okay our book is completely free anybody in the world can access to it without paying a penny our book is available mm -hmm. online all you need to do is an online to have is an online connection our book is lavishly illustrated and in full color, unlike Charles. Okay? Our book is browsable between and within. You've seen the green bars. Browsable. That means that you can get to where you want very quickly. You don't have to go through the entire book. Our book makes extensive use of online calculators, right? We have, in this particular book, we have about, um, I don't know, maybe. 10, 15 calculators. Wherever we can put a calculator, we put a calculator. Seventh is the book is, is important. Uh, this is written in terms of importance. The last are the, the more important ones. Our book is alive. I want to stress that. It is alive. Subject to changes, typos and other errors are identified and corrected. Mm -hmm. Typos are easy to correct. They're correct in, with the, in, in the, on the fly. Okay, yet remaining amenable to improvements as new developments arise. So we reserve the right to change this book at any time. And all we do is just uh, change the date at the bottom right. So if you have a, a book, uh, say, dated three months ago, 
and you check it again and the date has changed, it means that the book has changed. So you could say, well, I'm, I'm looking at the new copy. And finally, our book may be translated automatically in more than a hundred languages by cutting portions. And that's what we did in here. But as you know, Google does not do a hundred percent. They've been getting better. They started 80%, they're now they're about 90%. But they still requires that, that the translator, the technical person go in there and finalize the translation because we really cannot expect Google to do translation for every, every nuance of the language in technical matters. So um, basically, I just wanted to point this out to you. Um, and personally, uh, I have done a lot of work over the last 30 years on the roll waves, the roll waves of Vedernikov and of Kraya. And so I put a, a picture in there of the roll waves. It's, an, it's a picture that relates to the work that we do. So it's kind of uh, illustrative of the work that we do. Thank you. With that, uh, Licky, I'm going back to Licky now and you can, uh, we already have exceeded our time, Licky, so you may yeah. want to do, uh, you know. I think that we should uh, be giving the word to our guests, each one of our guests. And then after that, we can conclude and actually, I, I would say that we could start because it's not going to be a conclusion, but I think that we have the potentiality of developing uh, a network here with all the members that participated into this meeting. So it's not going to be a conclusion, but it's going to be a new beginning. It's never sure. time to begin again, all right, Professor Chandri and <laughs> Professor Pons? <laughs> <laughs> and also, Professor Demetrius, don't think that you are ever going to retire because <laughs> you never retire. Sorry to say that. <laughs> so we start with Professor Zufo. <laughs> what you want to, to say about the book? I, I find it fantastic. It, it can. I cannot hear. Maybe the volume no. is low. I think my microphone is not so good. Uh, I just finished my class today and uh, they stood up uh, concerned about the volume of my microphone. I don't know if it's, it's, it is better now or not. It's okay. It's better. Okay. Uh, I found the, the book, the idea of the book is fantastic because you can access the, the original papers that you used to, to to re to write the the, the technical technical uh, subjects and 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 improved it with the calculators for all kind of the, the equations used in the book it's a it's a incredible uh, useful for the students who want to learn hydraulic then congratulations Thank you. Thank you to uh, both uh, our associates, Liki and Jana, who interestingly both happen to be from Brazil. <laughs> As you can see, we have a lot of connection with Brazil. But we, uh, I personally have connections, uh, mostly my area of work is South America, I would say. Go Thank ahead. you, Sufu. So now I'm going to give the word to Professor Demetrius. And we, we also have to congratulate him because today is the day his family first arrived in Brazil. Right, Professor Demetrius? Yes. yes today. When he was five years old. So it's yes, an anniversary. I... Yes, yes. OK. I like uh, the, this book. Uh, it's a, a dynamic book, like the water is. The water flows, the, the book is flowing, as every time we can put something new in it. And uh, the difference is not only eight items, like you show us, the book starts a, a huge difference because start a new way to produce books. Mm. And uh, videos 
as well can help a lot the users. We will help substantially because it's very dy dynamic and didactic. And uh, for us, for me, that know works with a lot of engineers with uh, infrastructures, will be a new way of work. Thanks for to to have a book like this book. Very good. Well, I I uh, let me add to what Professor Demetrius that um, uh, I don't really I shouldn't talk about myself, but I always end up doing it. <laughs> and the fact is that that we're showing the way. We are showing the way. The speed at which we work. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and the accuracy. And the convenience is amazing. Yes, yes. Thanks for to, for to have a book like that one. Thank you so much, Professor Demetrius. Now I'm going to give the word to Professor uh, Gilberto Dalfre. Uh, again, Professor Pons, congratulations uh, for this wonderful work. Congratulations to Vasily Ki and Janaina as well for it, your effort and the good job you did with translating the, uh, the book to Portuguese. And uh, first, uh, I totally agree with Professor Zufo that having the opportunity to um, uh, click on the, um, on the articles, the original articles, and uh, the possibility to check uh, like the sources, uh, because uh, it is uh, very uh, common when I'm reading a book and I see uh, a, an equation or a citation and I say, wow, uh, that's very interesting, but how, how did they get here? And if you have the possibility to click there and see the original article, you, you just say, so, oh, so this is the, the way. Uh, so this is the first thing and it, it is fantastic as Professor Zufo said and the other thing is uh, it is very very suitable for for 2020 during uh, this period this pandemic pandemic now. <laughs> yeah because uh, this is a problem that uh, that I face there are so many, uh, there are many sources, many information in, in the internet, but, it's, uh, but it happens that uh, it is not easy to look for the right information and uh, separate the information and make it in a, you know, in a didactic way to put to the students. And so uh, in this in this sense the the way the book is, was was made uh, it is very easy to follow to the students you know to to teach and also uh, for the students to go there and and study and make the exercises and as you already have the videos you don't have like oh i have to check at the internet at so many websites to look for the best videos to comply with the things that I was talking, so uh, uh, it is uh, in, it is fantastic. Congratulations! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Zuber. Now, Professor Americo. Um, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Congratulations for Professor Bons, Leaky, and Jana. Uh, it's an outstanding work, and as I said before, and uh, it's exactly what we need for this moment. And I would like to see this kind of publication could be spread for other issues. Uh, I don't know how you think to expand this work for other stands, other issues, but it's really very important and thank you for sharing this work with us thank you americo yes uh, i'm going to add in regards to americo that um i personally have been doing this kind of work for 22 years 
we on the 19th of June, we we had our 20, excuse me, no, not 21. We have we, we reached adulthood on the 19th of June. So we've been adults only 11 or 12 days now. <laughs> 21 years. We reach adulthood uh, with a lab, with the concept that we have in here. Uh, it's very powerful. It, it, it has allowed us to, to, to grow tremendously, exponentially, as you guys probably have seen it. And, uh, but the best way to learn this system is to do it, not to hear about it. And I know Licky came because she was, I, I was going to say smart enough. <laughs> Maybe I should <laughs> but to realize what was in front of her. And so she decided to come over here for, for a period of four months, which was later due to the pandemic was cut to three and a half, but it doesn't really matter. She was here, she saw it. She saw it on a daily basis. And she was able to realize the productivity. We calculate that our productivity is three to five, three to five times faster than, than the faster other running, if not more. It's money. Yeah. We're talking money here. Thank you. Yeah, Professor Pons is an engineer. He's always calculating the time. You know, oh, I spent X hours doing that. Three, four hours. How much time did you spend doing that? And I was like, oh my God. And I had to take care of my kids this afternoon. <laughs> so my productivity was not so good. Okay, but we finished. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Yes. Now, um, Professor Fazal Chantry, please, could we have your words? Uh, thank you. Uh, I must say that uh, you are in the, on the uh, right path and uh, uh, trying to offer material which is immediately useful to the students. And uh, I think the possibility of uh, uh, making changes and uh, consulting literature uh, right uh, in the book, I think it's a good uh, step uh, towards uh, making the book more readable. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. To goes to the congratulations goes to the team that translated this book. Uh, yeah. Liki, Professor Volomitis, and Jana who helped on the difficult parts. Uh -huh. and I I'm, I'm, go of, I'm going to read it, and uh, uh, you will uh, hear from me. <laughs> okay, that is good. I would, we would definitely love, you can communicate with Liki or, or with me directly. We would definitely love to have your input. And yeah. uh, uh, like I said, we can change it at any time. We, uh, <laughs> again, I talk about our potential or our establishment. Our lab is very powerful. We have a yes. battery of servers. We yes. claim they never have lost a file in 21 years of work. Never. Very Why? Good, very because good. we have a battery of, of servers, backup very servers. Good. Yeah. We have up to six, six copies of everything in different places. Yeah. And we have them in circles, meaning two first and then like, like a war, right? You have a, the first line of defense, <laughs> the second line of defense, and the third line of defense. So yeah. if the first line fails, you go to the second. And if the second fails, you go to the third. So we have yeah. never actually lost a file. Yeah, very We can good. overwrite files, but we cannot lose them. Thank you. Very good. Now, Professor Jorge Prieto, could we have your word? Sí, eh, como no quiero pisotear la lengua de Shakespeare, lo voy a decir brevemente en castellano que el doctor me traduzca. Eh, Lo que más valoro del libro es lo primero que sea una herramienta libre y que cualquiera, cualquier persona pueda utilizarla. En, en los tiempos que vivimos, la difusión y el que esté al alcance y accesible para, sobre todo pensando en estudiantes y en los futuros ingenieros. Stop there. Uh, stop there. Uh, Jorge is saying that it's a free tool for anybody, sí. anybody in the world. And it is, uh, 
it's still unfortunate that of course there's, there, there's uh, three languages, but uh, you can reproduce to many more languages, like I say, a hundred languages. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Jorge. Y lo, lo siguiente es, como ya sabe, yo soy de España, que hay una, hay una cosa que se llama la denominación de origen, como es el, el jamón de jabugo o el vino de Rioja, bueno, en, en la hidrología y en la hidráulica, eh, las publicaciones del Visual Lab y del doctor Ponce tienen esa denominación de origen que permite saber que cuando uno va a ir a esa página va a encontrar algo de calidad. Es, es como un He's no, saying that, uh, no that uh, our visual lab is, uh, is uh, how can I say, an example to follow in regards to this way of working, which I may add again is not only accurate, and, uh, not, not accurate, but efficient, fast, and also uh, publishable to everybody. Go ahead, uh, Jorge. Very good. Finish. Be close. Be Very good. good. Muchas gracias. Professor Jorge. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, now, please, before you, you, you finish, Professor Pons, I'd like to give the word to Jana because she's an important piece into the project. She's got to give her words too and also okay. congratulate her for her last achievement because now she's a master in hydraulics and she just finished it under the supervision of Professor Pons at San Diego State University. Thank you, Liki. Um, uh, the first time that I um, had any contact with Professor Ponce's work was in 2013, actually 2014, when I was doing the exchange program, the Ciencias Sin Frontera. So I worked with him during the summer so I could see all the online books, calculators, and the videos. And I am very glad to see this work arriving now in Brazil. So uh, when I was in here, I usually would think, I, I would love to have this kind of tool back in Brazil, because at that time I, I, I was still doing my, my bachelor's. So, um, and now I'm seeing this happening and I'm very glad to see that. And I have very fresh in my memory how broke I was when I was a student. So it's very good that we have, this online and anybody can use it and I'm very happy to be part of it and uh, congratulations League for your hard work and we cannot forget to mention um, Salamini, Samara, Samara. Salamini because she always also worked on this book and right now she is uh, going th through some stuff and she couldn't be here, but she also helped us. And now we just have um, reasons to celebrate. Let's put this work, this book out there. Thank you everybody. I did add that Samara contributed extensively to this work in terms of uh, the quantity of the work. You know that any work is quantity and quality. And most people like to talk about the quality and they denigrate the quantity. That's not correct. I, for one, do almost the opposite. I love the quantity. I claim that my website is the largest hydraulic website in the world and nobody's challenged me. The largest. I didn't say the best because the best is subject to quality. I mean, people can say, no, I disagree with you. It's not the best. But the quantity cannot be argued. That is the point. Okay, so Samara helped on the quantity because if I may add in here at the risk of boring you guys, uh, we have a system. We have, we have done it several times, several, like I said, eight times already. So the system is uh, split all the chapters into five parts. So if a 13 book chapter, five parts, there's 65 projects that need to be done, one by one. And Samara contributed extensively to that to that objective. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Unfortunately, she's having family problems due to COVID and she's passing through a very difficult moment. But, you know, we are there praying for her to pass through the situation the soonest as possible. And uh, well, now I'm going to finish and give my last word to Professor Pons. 
And again, thank you so much, everybody, for spending this hour with us. Uh, I know how busy all of you are, but, you know, life is too short not to be surrounded by people that give us good energy. And I can feel the good energy that comes from all of you. And uh, this is how I want to be in the future, surrounded by good people giving us good energy. And thank you for sharing these special moments with us. Good luck. <laughs> Congratulations. We are very fortunate to leave the post to people like Jana of the quality and quantity. She works hard and works good also. Buona fortuna. Buona fortuna. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Right.